Everyone is aware of how much Sigma INFJs value privacy in their personal lives. They never reveal too much or speak too much. But does anyone know the source of this mindset? Here are some explanations for why a Sigma INFJ is very private. Number 10. They are frequently misinterpreted. Sigma INFJs have a strong urge to voice their unfavorable opinions on delicate subjects. They don't do this for the purpose of celebrity or recognition. Rather, they do it to raise awareness of pressing issues and defend people without a voice. Hence, as soon as they speak, others may misinterpret them. Sigma INFJs believe it is preferable to keep their personal life secret to prevent unneeded friction in their social connections since they can be evaluated for their divisive viewpoints and complicated thoughts about everything. They frequently err when they speak their minds, defy social order, and demand unbending limits. Also, they are quiet and antisocial, which gives them a haughty appearance. It's not that Sigma INFJs dread rejection and judgment. Rather, they are unable to handle the stress that social criticism adds to their lives. Number 9. They have no desire to command the spotlight. Sigma INFJs aren't the kind to continually make every step and learn every lesson in front of others. Thus, they aren't likely to continuously update their friends and family on their triumphs. Instead, they favor working hard and maturing in secret. As a result, when they are publicly praised for their performance and accomplishments, they do not desire to stay on stage for an extended period of time. They immediately shift the focus of the public to the accomplishments of another individual before returning to their regular behavior. People would be shocked by the Sigma INFJ's surprising success for this reason. However, it isn't at all abrupt. Sigma INFJs simply prefer to keep their development a secret because the limelight doesn't appeal to them. Why don't you care whether or not you get enough credit as an INFJ Sigma? Number 8. Their intricacy can surprise people. The Sigma has grown boring to people. Complexity and Sigma in INFJs INFJs are similarly sick of ambiguity in others. The best course of action is to stop talking. Mind your own business and concentrate on living. INFJs have no qualms about confronting anyone about their dubious beliefs because they don't seem to care how the rest of the world sees or judges them. But why would they continue to choose secrecy? It's a win-win situation since no one is worried out and they get to do their own thing. It's because they are weary of making other people stressed out. Despite without intending to insult or bruise these people's egos, they are criticized for their bluntness. Because of this, Sigma INFJs tend to repress their emotions and worries. As the Sigma INFJs confrontations are always unexpected, people tend to brush them off as being impolite rather than answering honestly and frankly. Number 7. Their social connections have been abandoned. Regrettably, some Sigma INFJs have stopped pursuing social connections because it's difficult to vibe with anyone. The issue isn't with Sigma INFJs, rather, it is with those who are unable to accept responsibility for their mistakes or broaden their horizons. These people would prefer maintain their warped viewpoint than be open to the Sigma INFJs' unconventional ideas. They are unable to accept the idea that there are other valid viewpoints in this extraordinarily varied planet save their own. The issue with most conservative people is that they think their viewpoints are accurate and everyone else's are wrong. Moreover, Sigma INFJs typically annoy those who have strong, unshakable views since they have a tendency to reintroduce different realities and truths. They commonly run upon people who are resistant to trying new things. Because of this, they would like to keep their ideas to themselves, keep their distance from others, and let things go. Does this imply you won't bother having in-depth interactions with anyone else as an INFJ Sigma? Number 6. They only desire a tranquil existence. Sigma INFJs will put their own well-being above anything else. They do take care of their loved one's needs, but not to the point where they deny themselves the happiness they deserve. Helping others does not need neglecting one's own emotional needs in order to be there for those in need. Poor boundaries are seen when someone is constantly accessible for others, 
while neglecting their own priorities, something Sigma INFJs will not tolerate in themselves. As a consequence, they avoid unneeded obligations and maintain their privacy so that they may focus on themselves rather than being entangled in everyone else's issues. In fact, allowing themselves to disappoint the people they love in order to better take care of themselves is the hardest truth about self-care that Sigma INFJs must come to terms with. Number 5. Individuals are ultimately accountable for their own pleasure. What's the point of parading yourself excessively and making every element of their lives visible to the public? Sigma INFJs understand that maintaining a pleasant social life and being accepted by others do not ensure emotional contentment. They are able to self-validate, which is an essential aspect of existence. Sigma INFJs are self-sufficient people who understand that their happiness and well-being are their own responsibility. They are aware that happiness is a state of mind and that it is their responsibility to cultivate it. If they don't have a good outlook on the world, no one can make them happy. And since they are aware of what makes them happy, they will engage in activities that, on their own, may provide a supply of joyful emotions. INFJs that identify as Sigma find self-validation more satisfying than societal acceptance. Number 4. Their beliefs can be very offensive. Because not everything about Sigma INFJs is good, it's more practical for them to be intensely secretive and to limit people's access to their inner world. Sigma INFJs are aware of how noxious and disagreeable some of their views may be. For those who are already obsessed on their traditions, in particular, some individuals despise the unorthodox viewpoint of the Sigma INFJ because they just cannot connect. They are unable to comprehend what the Sigma INFJs were saying since they had not yet encountered those situations or saw those visions. A Sigma INFJ may rant about social injustices in their surroundings, but as a result, they irritate entitled and closed-minded individuals. They experience prejudice and retaliation rather than support. This is due to the fact that not everyone can relate to their varied experiences. Number 3. They wish to schedule their obligations. Because to their great talent and knowledge, Sigma INFJs anticipate becoming involved in a variety of professional responsibilities. They frequently receive promotions and take on as many duties as they can. They constantly make an impression on people with their obedience and extraordinary independence. Yet, Sigma INFJs have restrictions just like everyone else. They are competent to do all of the tasks and obligations that have been given to them. Sigma INFJs will restrict their commitments and erect barriers in the proper areas of their relationships since they won't overcommit themselves because they have proven they can succeed in anything. As a Sigma INFJ, was it simple for you to reduce your commitments? Number two, they are self-assured anyway. Sigma INFJs sincerely believe that the only individuals who desire attention for their life achievements are those who are profoundly insecure about themselves. Only individuals who have never experienced internal validation are preoccupied on getting the public's attention and approval. These individuals lack the self-confidence and pride necessary to demand that others vouch for their expertise on their behalf. On the other side, Sigma INFJs don't need others to validate their self-beliefs since they already know what they are capable of or how far they can push their potential. They no longer need approval from others since they are so confident and at ease with themselves. Thus, they have always chosen seclusion. Number one, they don't want to be preoccupied with things that don't matter. The biggest justification that INFJs have for preferring seclusion to sharing their own experiences is that they don't want to bother about little things. This includes potential criticism from their peers as well as opinions from their job and family. They wish to act accordingly and let others think as they like. They only want to savor the now. Spending excessive amounts of time contemplating the past and the future is the very last thing that Sigma INFJs would do. Despite being the most ambitious personality type according to the MBTI, they are aware that everything has its time. 
When it comes to working, they will tenaciously pursue their goals. But when it comes to disconnecting and entering their inner wilderness, they will do so. They won't hesitate to maintain their focus, leave all the pointless worry in the past, and calm their thoughts. Is this how you view everyday chaos free living as a Sigma INFJ? With good reason, Sigma INFJs are known as the most enigmatic personality type. This alone demonstrates to everyone that they may achieve success, inspiration, and fulfillment without making everything about them public. Does excessive sharing truly make you uncomfortable as an INFJ Sigma? What do you think of persons who always talk about themselves?